Hey everyone, PewSman coming at ya. In this short video, I wanna go over why VR and AR require Linux to be a supported platform for development. I'm looking at this specifically in the context of WebXR and CloudXR. So a lot of these are primarily driven by the server requirements, but I think you can take a lot of the same principles of what we're looking at with the server and also apply them even for consumer PCs where you might consider using Linux to help optimize your PC requirements so that you could run VR even on cheaper hardware. I'd love to continue this conversation down in the comments below, but without further ado, there are really kind of three reasons why I think Linux is a requirement for VR and AR applications moving into the future. So first, especially with the WebXR render streaming CloudXR topic that we've been looking at on the channel, Linux is that open source standard for operating systems and servers. And so if you're looking to build a platform or ecosystem whose sole core tenant is openness and transparency, Linux kind of becomes that requirement of an operating system to use because of the fact that it is open source and you can customize it to meet whatever requirements that you need. Two, Linux tends to be a much smaller footprint of an operating system with some exceptions depending on the distribution that you use compared to Windows. And when you're looking at having something that you can spin up very fast and take down, which is often a requirement when you are putting up a server that has a very high cost on the cloud, Linux is your friend in that regard because it allows you to very quickly and easily go ahead, pull up, pull down servers uh, without having to have all the slow bottlenecks that come with Windows. In that regard, also, if your application works on Linux and a virtual machine environment, it becomes even easier to dockerize that application. And as a Docker container, your footprint even becomes much smaller so that you can actually start running things very quickly and efficiently, which is one of the core value propositions of Docker that we've taken a look at on the channel as well. And finally, well, of course, when we're thinking about servers and running games and VR on, on those servers, pricing for running on the cloud become very much a relevant factor. And one of the key things about running on the cloud is that Linux operating systems are a heck of a lot cheaper when it comes to deployments as opposed to Windows, which I'll leave a quick spreadsheet calculation that I did comparing prices on AWS for GPU based instances. And you can see that the licensing fee starts to scale based on how much compute you use, which is just kind of very frustrating. And that difference is money that you can save and money that will make your applications and platforms that you build on the cloud leveraging VR a heck of a lot cheaper for not only yourself in terms of expensive overhead, but also in terms of whatever services you would like to offer to end users that would be interested in CloudXR. And I think that's such an important thing that if you're looking to scale things out, you really want Linux, not only from the Docker point of view, which helps to make things a lot more scalable, but also from the pricing point of view. And you put those two together and then it starts to become very obvious why if you're looking at all at any remote render streaming, you want that working on Linux. I do think that then it becomes paramount to think about some of these, especially if you want to escape some of these walled gardens like Oculus and deploy applications on the cloud that gets streamed in. Linux then becomes really much your friend and you, it's a target that you want to be considering when ultimately pushing out your applications. Hopefully that makes sense why I think Linux becomes a very powerful tool for VR and AR developers. Again, would love to continue those conversations down in the comments below, but I think that'll do it for now. Until next time, it's been Fuseman. Thanks.